everyone, it's Eric Holmgren, your ambassador at large for the Placentia Chamber of Commerce. And today I am with Suzanne Meriden at Margot's Flowers here in beautiful Placentia. How are you today, Suzanne? I'm good, how are you, Eric? It's so nice to meet you. You have a lovely little shop here. Thank you so How much. long have you guys been here at Margo's Flowers? So uh, I think my family came in around um, 15 years ago or so. The shop has been here for over 25 years, but we came in around 15 years ago. And you've done all the jobs around here, I presume? We have. So my mom is really the matriarch of the shop, but she's had all of us do one thing or another, including my dad, uh, who's passed on now. But we've all been either drivers or we've arranged flowers and done, you know, everything, like you said. Okay. And is this then your first family business or had you had other businesses? We've had actually, my dad was in the laundromat businesses before. My mom was always a homemaker and wanted to be home while we were going to school. And then when we went off to college, etc., she decided she wanted to do something for herself. Uh, she took some flower arrangement classes and actually was an employee at the shop and was one of the favorite employees of the owner. And the owner went to her and said, you know, when I'm ready to sell the business I'm gonna to come to you first in case you want it and sure enough that's how it happened and my parents were ready to invest in something new and um, they took it on and my mom took it on and managed it and it's been a wonderful experience for all of us well that sounds terrific and it is a very cozy and very nice little shop and I've lived in the area so I've seen this here for I've been living here for almost 30 years oh, wow. and so it's been in the same spot this whole time yes um, but uh, and I typically get flowers here particularly when awesome. I get in trouble with my spouse <laughs> that tends so, to be a trend yeah, so yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Um, but uh, what, usually with our chamber chats we talk about some challenges and things like that with business so what did you want to talk with us uh, or share with us today um, I know I'm sure many will connect with this but just having gone through this year of COVID as I like to call it I loved watching my mom actually handle the challenges of what COVID has brought on to small businesses uh, she's always had a very you know um, um, calm demeanor about herself and hopefully has taught us to be calm like her and so when the challenges came on and we all started to wonder how that was going to affect us here she was true to herself took things you know with grace uh, decided to look over and see what she needed to shift you know she wanted to make sure she didn't lay off anyone and so she saw how she could shift hours and she had conversations with her employees and for some it worked out for them as well they needed to be home uh, with their kids etc uh, she immediately thought of no contact delivery um, and so she really just took everything with stride kept calm and actually because of everything she did she ended up having a better fiscal year than the year before which we we're so proud of her for that wow that is terrific so some of those innovations that came out of the crisis of COVID look like they're the sort of things that actually paid off absolutely and you know there's always the technical stuff but honestly just I think any business owner, uh, when we have challenges that come to us, doing what she does, which is just not panicking, just talking it out, coming up with a plan, and always making sure there's good communication with the employees so they're not wondering what's gonna happen, but instead they know and they're part of the decision making. I think that's always a great formula. Okay, well that does sound like it's the right way to do things, and obviously it's worked out Absolutely. for you. So what are some of the things that you have as far as services or what some of the new things that you've made available so um, honestly we've just enhanced what we've already had but we wanted to make sure people knew that if they did not want to come down or they wanted to watch out for their safety etc we're willing to go the extra distance and go out and be there for them um, you know I think where we've um, learned a lot and that is part of our services especially during the big holidays where uh, we would always have it very busy in here. We learned how to handle it a little bit calmer and services were better for the customers. I think our delivery increased. Um, so really it wasn't that we were more innovative, we just enhanced what we had. We communicated it better to the customers. And so now they know we're here for delivery, we're here to walk things out to their car if needed. Uh, but we're here for them in every capacity. Now, as COVID hopefully is further and further away in our review mirror as life goes on, um, what sort of things are you planning on continuing uh, from these services that you've offered and things that you've talked about? So, um, 
I think a lot, we're focusing a lot more on just communication versus people coming in and traffic coming in. That has definitely calmed down and more people are wanting to do things over the phone uh, and not having too much contact. So I think there we, we need to do more training on, you know, how to handle sales on the telephone, how to increase sales on the telephone, um, maybe even going out and doing things outside. You know, there are these uh, now suddenly flower mobile carts that are out there where people are driving out, you know, especially with Uber right. oh, yeah. and, and all those services. People want things to come to them. So I think those are conversations we're now exploring, like how do we get the flower to the customer even when they're not calling us for it, but how, we, how do we advertise it? and get it to them. So that's the space we're exploring right now. Okay. Yeah. So you, you had to do a, a serious pivot with COVID and now as things change, you're pivoting and then trying to incorporate the things that you've learned from the last year. Absolutely. And I think part of it too, I mean, things like Uber and things like Uber Eats and Postmates, it's funny that those were coming up right as COVID started. So there was this sort of synergy happening. And so I think we've had to think of, we would have had to think about that anyway. And COVID sort of, pulled us uh, into it, you know, automatically, so, yeah. Right, well, very yeah. good. Yeah. So it sounds like things are going well and looks like you've got another promising future. The store should be here 50 years from now, whether whether you're here or not. Right, absolutely, it will be here. And, and that's because actually, uh, uh, such a great segue, Eric, because it's really the community and the customers that have helped keep this place going. Right. Uh, and so they're always here. So whether it's us or someone in the future, hopefully the store will always do well. Yeah. No, this is definitely one of those landmark uh, stores yes. that has this perennial, no pun intended, um, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, existence. And so hopefully that will carry on. So uh, before we say farewell, is there anything else you'd like to share out there with the Placentia community? I would love to, Eric. I mean, honestly, I just want to say thanks from our whole family to the community. We lived in Placentia before we even owned a business here and we loved it then, but then having a business and working with the Chamber of Commerce, uh, working with the community, partnering with them and getting their patronship has been an incredible experience. We love this community and we hope to do business here for a long time. All right. Well, terrific. Suzanne, it was so nice to meet you and to visit this place for a reason other than because I'm in trouble with my Thank wife. Thank you, Eric. I was going to say, if, maybe if you come more often, you won't be so much trouble. Oh, is that what it is? Preemptive. <laughs> preemptive. All right. Well, very good. And until the next episode, be well. Be well.